it's Amanda. I have a what to pack for the hospital video and I have done this a few times so I definitely have some good suggestions on what to bring and just like what to leave at home. This time I have kind of downsized and um, but first of all I think what I would um, recommend the most is getting a you know just kind of like a a travel carry-on bag with wheels um, those are gonna be a lot better like I just have a, a big duffel bag um, so you know one with the wheels that you just like go on vacation with those are probably gonna be the best because they're easy to get to easy access I need to see if I can borrow one um, for the hospital because I just yeah I just have this other bag um, so I have a bag for myself and then I have my diaper bag for baby and then I also have um, this is kind of just like my toiletries stuff that and it's in this clear bag which I'll go over with and where I got everything um, and then uh, Ian my husband will have um, his own bag that you know um, for stuff for him and I have my list on my phone here and I'll just copy and paste this and put it down below of the things that I'm packing I don't have everything right here but I'll tell you um, and so yeah first I'll start off with this really cool bag that I got it um, I got it at Walmart actually and it's this big clear purple bag and it came with um, this little mini like uh, makeup bag here. I um, picked up from Walmart these already ready to go travel little kits that um, they're you know for there's little travel sets that are the right amount for traveling on a plane or whatever but I thought it would be just the right amount for you know a stay in the hospital. This is hoping that I'm only there for uh, like a couple days one to two days um, if you do have a c-section then you know you're going to be there longer however <laughs> even if you do have a c-section you're there longer doesn't mean you're going to use more products um, usually you can't even get in to take a shower um, but once anyways while you're there regardless of you know you've had a c-section or or not so um, you really aren't going to need anything bigger than what's in here and so it was cool because it came with uh, shampoo and conditioner and a little deodorant, a travel toothbrush and toothpaste, and uh, this uh, Eucerin, uh, you know, lotion. And I just put in this little, I bought an extra little face scrub uh, to wash my face with. So I got this one, and then they also had one for, for men, and so I picked this one up, and they were like $5.99 in the travel section. Of Walmart and so I picked this one up for Ian and again it's just kind of like little necessity things it's got a razor and a toothbrush toothpaste and some mouthwash and you know he's got his brand specifics that he likes but for just the hospital you know so that we can just this is already in here because when you're packing your bathroom stuff it's like you know you want to pack stuff that you use but you don't also don't want to be packing at the last minute you know because you're using it so just kind of you know don't go with what your you know your facial regimen is just go out get some stuff cheap stuff and you know put it in the bag have it ready so you're not scrambling at the last minute to get your favorite face wash you know your your lotion um, just have everything ready uh, the other thing that I bought from Walmart for this um, is some um, wipes and um, these ones are just everyday wipes and this was also in the travel section and these were only like 90 95 cents or something like that and I like the ones that have the little lids um, these aren't makeup remover wipes I do have makeup remover wipes 
Not that I probably will be wearing a whole lot of makeup to remove, but it does remove, you know, oil and just, you know, if you're not able to get into a shower, like I had said before, then having these like makeup removing wipes is just nice to refresh you. Um, and having these on hand too is just always good because they're going to have stuff at the hospital, but, um, you know, there, I just wanted to have my own and you can just never have too many wipes, I feel. <laughs> so um, that's in there. And then I also just have a, a hairbrush. Um, the other things that I, um, that I ordered and I packed are some pads. These are some heavy duty pads. They're gonna give you um, pads at the hospital with those really groovy, um, mesh underwear that don't hold anything. Um, so I probably won't even use these, but, um, I did order some already because they don't, um, the ones they give you are really cool. They, they're huge, but you crush them up and they get cold. So, um, it's kind of like glow sticks, <laughs> but they get cold, uh, because you're, you know, you definitely are going to be sore down there and but the underwear they give you are just like it's just like a net and it doesn't hold up you know so um anyway so yeah I didn't know so when you're at the hospital make sure you get as many of those pads as you can Take as much stuff as you possibly can from the hospital that they will give you. Um, more often than not, you're going to be charged for it anyways. Um, even down to like the last baby diaper. You know, they're going to charge you for diapers. Um, if you go back and look at your medical bill and you'll see, oh, 12 diapers. And you're like, dang, I didn't even take all those. So take your diapers, clear out, take all the little t-shirts, the little beanies, um, everything in that little bassinet, you know, that they give you, all the pads. Um, if you, if you like those, you know, little underwear, then and get those too. Um, you know, soap for baby, wipes for baby, anything, clear it out. Take everything you can from there, seriously, because you're paying for it anyways. Just an FYI. These ones are the Always Overnight um, heavy duty pads. And so these ones have the wings on them too. Uh, once the, uh, once you run out of the other ones from the hospital, the really thick ones, you're going to want to have a really, you know, good backup for those. Cause you're going to be bleeding regardless of if you had a C-section or a vaginal delivery, you're going to be bleeding. So, um, you're going to want a good, I got two packs of 20 of these and I got them at drugstore.com for super cheap. So, um, and then I also got, um, the next size down to like a regular cause, um, I usually bleed for like a good four weeks, four to six weeks, um, after the delivery. So, um, you definitely are going to want to have some of these on hand already when you get home from the hospital. So I just packed some up. Not that I would, will use them. I'm not sure. Um, because yeah, I want to use whatever the hospital has there, but, um, so I have that. And then I'm also bringing like my purse and in my purse, I have some makeup and, um, you know, just, just a little touch up stuff. It depends on when I go into labor. If I, last time I happened to go into labor at like 10 o'clock in the morning and I, my water broke. So I decided oh, I was going to go take a shower, took a shower, did my hair. And then my contractions started coming on really quickly. So I had to hurry that process up and, um, just kind of bring maybe some little, um, what I've been doing is saving up the little things from my subscription boxes, like these are just some um, uh, Willa Naturals on the go face wipes. Here's like a little hair detangler, um, a little, uh, you know, get some, a little bit of makeup here to have some mascara, um, and just put some things in there to, 
you know, if you have a moment, I don't know, if you're getting an epidural, if you have time to wait, um, and, you know, you feel like it, if, I don't know if I'm going to feel like it. Last time, like I said, I had time to get ready before, so I did. It was 10 in the morning. However, this time if it happens at 3 in the morning, I probably won't. So, but I'm going to bring it anyways, and, um, you know, just want to have it on me, so... Let me look at my list. Uh, as far as paperwork goes, you definitely want to make sure that you have your birth plan. Um, and you might want to go over it with your nurse who's there. Uh, bring your insurance card to the hospital as well as your ID. You might just want to kind of give that um, to your husband or your partner. Um, otherwise, uh, just like have I have an extra ID so I kind of just do that and have my insurance and everything um, already packed in my bag so I don't have to worry about that either as much stuff as you can pack before um, and not have to do it the last minute because you're using it you know like a computer or something like that then just pack it um, I have in here a lip balm I bought one especially for this labor, a little blue one. The EOS lip balms are the best with how much breathing you do and how much, you know, just, you definitely want your lips moisturized. These are perfect um, to just, uh, you know, throw on your lips and, um, and keep this handy nearby. Uh, and then also some hair bands. Always want to make sure that you either, um, you know, have some hair bands, not hair clips, because if you're laying down, the hair clips are just going to bug you and they're going to break or something. Um, if you want to keep, like, your bangs out of your face or anything like that, just bring, I got this in a birch box. Um, but, uh, you know, just bring something like this to put your hair out of your face. Um... You know, even just kind of braid your hair really quick or whoever's going to be there with you, have them braid your hair or something so it's out of the way. And, uh, but, you know, you can put a cute little headband on or something like that. So at least you feel a little bit, you know, a little cute. <laughs> um, to the main bag, and this will be um, my bag of stuff, I, um have been kind of purchasing things over time and uh, you know this is kind of the part where I overpack because you think okay I'm gonna be there for two days I should have two outfits two pajamas but you know you kind of end up just uh, wearing like the same thing over and over um, and keep in mind yeah you are gonna be like bleeding a lot and um, so you're not gonna want to bring like really nice clothes or your really cute nursing jammies that you just got, um, you know, maybe gear more towards, uh, on the bottom at least, uh, getting some like, uh, yoga pants, like some black yoga pants or black stretchy pants. Um, and the reason why I say this instead of just using like a hospital gown type thing is, um, after, you know, after the birth and everything and you know going into that night and the next day um where you're, they're not gonna have to have, need access to you all the time you can wear pants um and like I said those pads they give you are so huge with those uh mesh underwear I like to definitely bring my own underwear those pads that they give you um you want to have some kind of underwear that are you know, form-fitting, that aren't going to stretch out, that are going to be able to fit that huge pad in. And I found really cute ones, well, not very cute, but from um, Bye Bye Baby, and they're by Motherhood M Maternity. And you can see here, they're like um, maternity underwear, and they have a thick band up at the top to kind of hold you into which these are great for if you're gonna have if you have a c-section because you're gonna want that pressure um you know holding everything in and um you know keep in mind also you are still gonna have like a good 
five months looking belly. So you're not going to be completely flat and you are going to need, you know, you're not going to be going back to your, you know, little panties right after birth. Um, so I actually got these from Motherhood Maternity and it was a two pack of them. So in black as well, which great color in case there's any bleeding or anything, you know, uh, and these are just really thick and really durable and just like super in a size small uh, medium and so they're just yeah they're really cute and um, totally comfortable so I have those and then I also just have this is actually from like Target I think just these little like boy shorts these are kind of what the mesh panties look like except for their white mesh um, but they're just tiny little like shorts and uh, these are just really you know form-fitting and tight so it's gonna hold the pad where it needs to be and not kind of the pad going one way and then you're bleeding out the other way you know you want to have something that's form-fitting at least this is what I've found over the last two births that worked the best for me. Um, the other thing is some uh, a lot of really comfortable nursing bras out there and there's a, a few different styles too so and also keep in mind that when you're at the hospital your milk will not have come in yet so your um, boobs are not going to be as big as they will be in the next few days when your milk comes in so um, you can kind of wear you know you don't have to really worry as much about leaking and everything while you're in the hospital um, it's kind of when you go home and, and your milk comes in and stuff so uh, the ones that I like the most I think just for that situation are these like sleep bras and these are just the crossover you know just the pull down crossover bras so um, there's that one and then these are both from uh, motherhood maternity see and they just pull down right there um, I have this one that I've had since my first baby and this was like from Walmart or something like that but um, it's made by announcements maternity and um, it's just super easy to clip down and um, you know there's the boob right there and so this has been like one of my favorite uh, nursing bras, so I'm going to bring that too. Um, I like to have a few options because you just, you don't know how you're going to feel, what you're going to feel, you know, in the mood to wear. You might not even want to wear a nursing bra and just have a nursing tank. And if that's the case, um, let's see, I also got a couple other ones from Motherhood Maternity this one and this is um this is a three-way uh seamless top and it, you can use it as a tank a halter or crisscross and then it also has the clip down here like that and it has a little bit of um padding right here which um you know i i put in my own pads uh that's not i don't i think this is just so you don't have any like nipple showing but i like this because it is a kind of form fitting hugging type of top i think this in combination with uh these underwear and you will be like super comfy in the hospital just have this on and a robe and you're probably going to be set. So, um, I have this one. And then I also have uh, these other ones, which I've tried a lot of different maternity nursing tanks. And this is by far the best one. And this one is also from Motherhood Maternity. And it has a little bit of ruching in the middle here. And it's got ruching on the side, which is great for the belly it's extra long and it's just a really soft jersey material um, again it's got like a clip down here for nursing um, the only thing is 
right here on the sides, um, and I've heard a lot of people complain about um, it just, it kind of puckers out a little bit. I'm going to have to take it in and kind of nip it right there because no matter what your cup size, it seems to be happening to everyone. But it's worth it because I like um, this style top. And there's online you can get them. And there's a few other colors. I have this is a coral and gray one. And this is like a navy blue and aqua blue one. So those I just kind of paired up with um, some just leggings. So I have that with that. And then I also have some blue leggings for that. Um, and then also another good thing to have on the bottom are just like these yoga pants, you know, these kind which you probably see everywhere like maternity ones but they're not I think they oh a lot of them are just made this way the fold over these ones are going to give you a lot of support also with that big pad and um, just be really comfortable too don't want to forget to bring some little slippers uh, anything you're like for before the labor or, I mean during your labor where you might need to be walking the halls or um, you know just walking somewhere make sure you get some slippers that have a good track pad on the bottom and um, so you're not slipping around uh, so I've got those and then a few pairs of socks and these are my Christmas ones but <laughs> Um, just a few pairs of socks, uh, some kind of robe, um, a cozy robe would be really nice just to be able to throw on. Um, one of my um, nursing pajamas came with this little gray cardigan, which I'm just going to throw in and it can, you know, just go over any of these nursing tops and, um, and bottoms. And then I also have in here just one outfit that's not like, um, depends on like what I want to go home in. Uh, I have just these maternity leggings, these black maternity leggings, um, and a maternity top, just this one right here. And I can wear a nursing bra underneath it to go home in. Otherwise, um, I have this really cute pajama that my mom got me for my baby shower that um, I wanted to wear to go home in and um, just because it's really cute <laughs> and it's from Motherhood Maternity. And no, this isn't sponsored by Motherhood Maternity at all, um, but it's this little cute nursing top that clips down here. And then it has a navy blue robe top that's so cozy. Long sleeve and it has a little tie and it has the matching navy blue cozy jersey pants. So um, this outfit is just so, so comfortable and um, it would just be a nice cute outfit to kind of go home in from the hospital. Just, you know, no jeans, no boots, no nothing. You know. Some people will want to bring a bathing suit if you are going to be laboring in um, a tub or in the shower at all. Uh, and also have your partner bring a bathing suit as well. Um, Let's see, you want to have some magazines, some books. I am just going to be, most hospitals have Wi-Fi. I'm going to bring my Kindle um, tablet and have some magazines on there and, um, you know, books and stuff to read. Let's see, you want to bring um, your own pillow from home. And a good idea is to have the pillow not be white, <laughs> have it be a different color so it doesn't end up getting stuck at the hospital. You know what your pillow is, you know what color and everything and that it, you make sure it gets back home to you. So, um, and then bring maybe like your favorite blanket. 
Uh, that's always just makes, I bring two of my blankets that I love, my throw blankets and, um, and my soft pillow. And also my husband brings his blanket and his pillow for that little bed that comes out next to me. It just makes all the difference. I bring my boppy pillow and that's this right here for nursing. Um, and just having good support pillows after after birth is really nice to have too. So I definitely um, will have that packed. And um, let's see. And then as far as any electronics go, you know, your video camera, your regular camera, you want to make sure you have all your cords and your batteries. Um, I'm going to be bringing my lab DVD player um, and, uh, hooked up to the TV in there. If you're at a hospital, it just depends on where you're going. So um, definitely take a maternity tour of where you're going to be delivering so you can see what you need to bring. Um, but I, you know, obviously my cell phone and all my chargers and um, our camera and uh, if there's any special kind of massager that you want during labor um, for your partner to help um, with the labor, then bring your massager. You can bring your, uh, you know, your yoga ball. Some hospitals provide them, most don't. So you know, check first, but um, you can bring your own yoga ball. Our hospital has a um, individual little refrigerators for each room, so um, stock up on some, you know, some Gatorade, some water, and even, you know, beverages for your partner um, to keep them hydrated and going during the labor as well. Any snacks um, that you're gonna want um, for after the labor. They don't really let you eat a whole bunch before. But, um, you know, again, your partner will need to stay energized and hydrated. So um, get some things that uh, can be put in there or just in general some snacks and uh, keep them in a bag uh, to bring. Sure, uh, your partner has some change either for parking or for vending machines. Um, you know, most hospitals or places have um, cafeterias, but they're not open all the time. So you might be hitting up the vending machines here and there. So make sure to bring change and, um, you know, dollar bills and stuff like that. Uh, partner just kind of needs, like I showed you, just some, you know, a little bit of toiletries and just things that they a change of clothes and a bathing suit for them to... Um, and something to read for them in the early stages. The rest is going to be for baby. So what I did is I just took my diaper bag and um, filled this up. And this is just a Petunia Pickle Bottom um, little diaper bag. And um, this is in here has a couple of blankets and some outfits. Um, you're not really going to know exactly if your baby's going to be fitting into newborn size or if they're going to be in zero to three months. So if you have a smaller baby or even preemie. So you kind of will figure that out a little bit more as time goes on. If you're approaching your due date, you're probably will be, you know, you're not going to need preemie clothes. Um, and you know, you can kind of figure out what sizes to bring. I'm going to stay on the safe side and bring a couple newborn pieces and a couple of zero to three month pieces, um, just based on what my previous babies have been. And then, um, you know, your going home outfit. Um, you also want to make sure that you have your, uh, your car seat already installed in your car. Um, and then that way you can just bring in the carrier and, um, and get baby in that way. So inside here I have, um, I have this outfit, which both of my daughters went home in. So this is kind of just a little tradition. Um, it's like a little bare ears and just a little cozy outfit that, 
um, we'll put him in, if, if anything, just for our picture. Um, it's probably not going to be very cold, so, um, but I also have in here a little swaddler, and, um, what's this one, this woundy, uh, swaddler, uh, and, you know, the baby is not really going to be wearing a whole lot of clothes while they're in there. Um, you know, you're, I don't know, I usually spend most of the time just skin to skin, but, um, as far as, you know, and then they're wrapped up in a blanket or swaddled in other ways, but you can bring stuff just for the sake of bringing stuff. So I have some onesies. I have some little, some little hats, which the hospital will provide little hats provide onesies and little um, swaddle blankets so you really honestly don't need to bring anything it's just I don't know I wanted to pack a little bag for baby and this is what I ended up packing I also have here this cute little onesie <laughs> this is I'm the little brother so I thought that would be really cute and I have this little he's not going to be using a pacifier in the hospital, but, um, this is just a cute little pacifier clip. And, uh, here's just some onesies in different sizes. Um, and like little newborn onesies. And then, uh, look how tiny this is. Mostly just because they're cute. <laughs> but then I have like a zero to three months. Bees for Bob. So, um, just bringing a few uh, of those. Like I said, they probably won't even get worn. But, um, you know, we we'll want to have them just in case. You will be fine if you don't bring any of this, though. Because they have everything that you need there. Um, and then you also want to bring, um, maybe like your own blanket that you have for baby. Each one of my girls have their own special blanket that they came home with and that they, um, my oldest daughter still uses till this day. So I have, um, this really cozy, I think this is just like a, a Carter's, um, blanket, just a really cozy fleece blanket that I just love. So I've got that for him. And then I also have just a, um, a swaddle blanket, just these little cloth, um, swaddle blankets. Okay guys, so I think that pretty much wraps up all the stuff that I'm packing for the hospital. I will put the list down below of all the things that I mentioned. And if you guys have any questions, you can also comment down below. Uh, but otherwise, um, I hope you're all doing well, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.